film on my phone yet. Okay. <clears throat> this afternoon, Serious and Organised Crime Branch from the South Australian Police attended at Murray Bridge along with local police from Murray Bridge conducted a number of raids in which a number of people were arrested as a result of a long-term investigation in respect to methamphetamine trafficking in the Murray Bridge area. Today, five people were arrested as a result of trafficking methamphetamine within the local area. <coughs> Previously, another four people have been arrested. Also, today was seized two guns, and as a result of that, uh, as a result of that, people will now uh, attend court at Murray Bridge at a later date. This ongoing investigation has been a result of understanding the trafficking of methamphetamine within the country locations. We understand the harm that it causes to local community, not only to policing, but also to the health services in the area. As a result of this investigation, we're hopeful that this will make a dent in the methamphetamine trafficking within the local area. It will be alleged that these people have been trafficking methamphetamine or ice to local residents within the Murray Bridge area. This is part of SAPOL's ongoing Operation Atlas, where we target methamphetamine sales and usage within South Australia. We ask anybody that has any information about any drug dealing within their area to contact Crime Stoppers or local police. Any questions? Uh, what were the nature of these arrests? Was there any um, people resisting arrest today or were they under surveillance for a long time? This is part of an ongoing investigation for the last nine months. There's been a lot of resources put into this uh, investigation and uh, we would be alleging that uh, these people were involved in trafficking methamphetamine particularly ICE, to uh, the local community. Did they go quietly today when they were taken into custody or did anyone put up a fight? Yeah, everyone went quietly. Was it in an isolated area around Murray Bridge? Is there a specific area that you were focusing on? We focused on the Murray Bridge area specifically. However, one person arrested was from the town of Sherlock, which is about an hour east of Murray Bridge. You mentioned you seized two firearms. Do you also seize a quantity of methamphetamine and how much uh, of a street value are we talking about? This uh, investigation has resulted in probably over about 60 grams of ice being seized. Um, in relation to the firearms, uh, we'll be alleging that one was an air rifle and uh, one was a uh, shotgun in pieces. So uh, those people will now face court at Murray Bridge at a later date. What would be the street value of 60 grams? That's uh, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, around about $6,000. And that was seized today? Uh, that's over the course of this investigation. This has been uh, targeting street uh, dealing and it's people that were dealing to other people within the local community. This is about people causing harm to their local community and uh, we've been pleased that we've been able to arrest these people and put them before the courts. What are some of the other items seized today, the, some of the stolen goods? There's allegedly some other items which we believe were stolen from other sites. There was also some cannabis seized, so where those matters are being investigated and uh, we're looking uh, forward to further investigations. We expect other arrests to be made in respect of this operation today and uh, the inquiries are still continuing. Did any of the arrested today have links to Travis Kirchner? Um, I can't uh, talk about that at this stage, but at this stage I'm not aware of that. In and is that, has, is that what has sparked this um, intense look at Murray Bridge, the Kirchner case? Um, no, this is, uh, we're aware that uh, Murray Bridge was one of a number of uh, country locations where meth has caused problems and uh, as a result of our uh, investigation we certainly have intelligence that we've received and uh, we focused on the investigation in particular to street level dealing. Um, regarding uh, the speed case that you're talking about, um, this was a matter that we were actually looking for that investigation and uh, we've been focusing on making the community safer. Did the Kirchner case make you more aware of, of just how prevalent <coughs> ICE was in this community? I know that you were already on it, but was it worrying just how prevalent it is in Murray Bridge? Uh, Murray Bridge is not immune, uh, as is other uh, country locations, that to uh, the scourge of ICE. And uh, we were certainly focusing on country locations because we were certainly aware that is uh, the behaviour of people that are using uh, meth or ICE 
is certainly the highlight of more within the community. So well, we certainly focused on country locations, as every country location. We've previously we had conducted investigations around the Mount Grand and Panola area. So well, we will continue to uh, target country locations, as we do within the city area. We are mindful that certainly the effects of ice on the community, especially with uh, law and order and also health, and it puts a specific strain on resources within the local community. And um, were there any children present at the homes that were raided today? Not that I'm aware of. And um, in, is this just the tip of the iceberg? Do we have further raids planned for this area? We expect uh, further risks to be made in respect to this investigation. As a result of the houses raided or do you expect further raids? We uh, expect to make a further risk as a result of the uh, evidence that we've obtained as a result of this investigation. Will that be the same thing? Um, we will conduct uh, further raids if it's deemed appropriate from, invest, uh, from our investigation today. We will look at uh, and analyse the evidence obtained and if uh, we determine that we have sufficient uh, uh, authorities to uh, conduct raids, we'll undertake that. Thank you. Thank you. Is that arrest expected this